So in this video, we're going to quickly talk about whether JavaScript frameworks are necessary for every project that you're building. So it's quite common when creating a new project to fire up your favourite framework and start coding up your project in an environment that you feel comfortable in. But is it necessary to use one of these frameworks for every single project that you're working on? So let's just clarify what we mean by a framework. So when I'm talking about a framework in this instance, I'm talking about things like Angular, Vue and React and so on because the list of JavaScript frameworks actually grows on a day-to-day -day basis. So let's run through some scenarios when it might be appropriate to use one of those frameworks and when you can get away without using one. So so first of all, if you're creating a simple website that has maybe multiple pages or maybe even just a single page, then you probably don't need a framework just to actually render some HTML and some CSS to the end user. In fact, if that's all you're sending to the user, then you might not need any JavaScript at all, apart from any tooling that you might be using to build the project. So because you're delivering something so simple to the user, you probably don't need any framework to actually do that. Although it's tempting to use the features that are built into the frameworks like components and services, for example, it's probably a bit overkill just for a static site. Right. So let's take another example. Let's say you're building a portfolio to demonstrate the projects that you've been working on whilst you've been learning to code. So this scenario is a bit 50-50. You might want to actually use a framework to demonstrate that you can actually use that framework and demonstrate your knowledge of it. But you're still creating a static site that's just linking out to various different projects that you've done. So again, a framework might be a bit overkill if you're just rendering some HTML and possibly a little bit of JavaScript to the user. But if you do use a framework for your portfolio or for one of your projects in your portfolio, that moves us on nicely to the third scenario which is working with other developers. So if the project you're starting is going to involve other developers then using a framework might be a good choice as those other developers that will be working with you may have some knowledge of that framework and if they don't they can obviously go away and learn it. But if you're starting your own web application and you're writing all of the front-end JavaScript by hand, in other words you're just using vanilla JavaScript and no frameworks, then other developers that are coming to work with you on that project are going to have to spend a lot of time getting up to speed on how the JavaScript code that you've written works. So that's obviously very time consuming for them to understand how all of the code works and you might need to spend your own time explaining to them how that code works which is something you just wouldn't get if you were using a framework and that's why when job descriptions mention a particular framework it's so they can leverage that advantage of using developers existing knowledge around a particular framework so that they can join a team and start coding away straight away without having to learn all the ins and outs of a particular custom web application that's been built by that company. So another way to look at these scenarios is if the project that you're going to be working on is going to be relatively simple simple, then creating everything by hand, writing your own JavaScript is probably a good option. Whereas if the project is going to get relatively complex, with things like routing, components, authorization requests for example, then using a framework is going to get you to that endpoint a lot quicker. So I guess the key takeaway here is that you don't need to always rely on a framework for when you're starting a project, they're not necessary. They can, for simple projects, make your life a lot more complicated, but when your project is going to be more on the complex end of the scale, then using a framework will solve a lot of the problems that you'll encounter for you. 